Fala pessoal, de boa, continuando a nossa gameplay do Starfield, de onde paramos Estamos aqui na base dos Diabos Vermelhos, né? Continuando ali com as missões da UC, mano Até o momento tá bem interessante essa história aqui E bora lá conversar com a mulher pra continuar a história You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nira? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Achilles? Take that as a no then. Yes, there are. Apparently the Achilles were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the colony war, the Achilles were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the terramorph problem definitively. All our data suggests so. Asili's, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere, and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding. Which is important, because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data. On worlds where Achilles were present, terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Achilles are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. If you pick a fight with one, or you're a terramorph, sure. But Achilles were already spread across the galaxy once before during the colony war. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe, something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Achilles. Well, that's still not a hundred percent, but it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics, so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, not to mention some highly specialized materials. 
Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Aceli's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Toleman II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asili's were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asili's were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began, and the key to its end. <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. It's dangerous, yes, but Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's gonna put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Beleza, né? Então a gente precisa ir ali pra Londinium, que já sabemos que foi o lugar lá que deu merda, né, véi? E com força. Mas antes, primeiro, vamos aqui pegar alguns equipamentos, né? This is quite an impressive research facility. When it comes to the study of the Terramorph, the Red Devils are sparing no expense. It's a damn shame that it was necessary to reopen this facility. But someone has to deal with the fact that the Terramorphs have resurfaced. Need something? Just say the word. Oh, this goddamn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? Oh, nothing. I love having to take a toothbrush to every crate they drag in here. Now you're gonna tell me what you need or can I get back to my work? It's come up on my performance evals. But I know the needs of this facility inside and out. So everyone has to deal with it. Not that it should matter to you. I'm sorry, who are you again? Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard, but sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city, so um, thank you for what you did there. Don't think it's a controversial belief that the UC should spend its money on its own people first, rather than doling out credits to pilots from God knows where. But, considering the evidence before me, I guess the program's not a total waste. So, what you did for New Atlantis, I appreciate it. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, I would hate to see anything happen to them. 
Now, what was it you needed? If anyone can pull off something as downright lunatic as that, it's these people. And I'll make sure they've got all the supplies they might need to make it a reality. That's correct. Ran logistics for the Devils for years before getting the assignment here. Military logistics isn't usually thrilling work, but as bone-crushingly exhausting as this job could be, it sure as hell was never dull. Coordinating habitats for nightmares from the far side of Lantana 8B and their favorite breathing snack foods? Sure, why not? Stocking the UC for a rancher who's got 2,000 great eight kilos of biomass he can ship to Mars per week? We call days like that Tuesday. So when I heard things might be opening up again, I put in for my transfer immediately. Everything up to spec. Beleza, e basicamente a gente tem um comerciante aqui, né? Que no caso vai vender algumas coisas aí. Se tiver algo de interessante que você queira comprar, já que isso daqui também é meio aleatório, né, mano? Bom proveito, tá? Pra mim ali meio que não tem muita importância no momento, certo? E vamos lá então pra Londinion, né? Porque a gente vai ter que fazer uma dobra pra localização agora. This world is off limits. You are advised to jump to safe harbor immediately. No, but if you proceed, no one will be coming to rescue you. So do us all a favor and jump back to safe harbor. Now. Tolomon 2 is a biological exclusion zone. Nothing down there but terramorphs and UC soldiers keeping an eye on them. Best course of action is to leave while you're still able. Let me check my logs. <laughs> Alright, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. Beleza, né? Pelos avisos ali, a gente já tá vendo que a situação é um pouquinho mais complicada nessa área aqui, né, mano? Porque o bagulho ali deve ter ficado doido, né? Quando deu essa merda aqui. Mas tranquilo. É uma área aí, ó, que vai ter muito gelo. É um planeta que eu ainda não cheguei a explorar, tá? Talvez depois eu já faça esse sistema aqui... Completamente depois de terminar as missões ali de Nova Atlântida Porque depois que a gente encerra as missões Você libera mais algumas lá também E bora entrar na base Beleza, aí a gente precisa caminhar ali Até a comandante da área aqui agora Pra continuar com a história I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an... eclectic group. You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum. I'm no need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. As does the urgency of your mission. So I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's with good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Os 
The initial Terramorph outbreak that overran Londinian during the tail end of the Colony War came as a complete shock. Waves of the creatures appeared out of nowhere, and the city was quickly overwhelmed. There were some attempts at evacuation, but Ve Victus decided more definitive action was merited. He ordered the spaceport to be bombed, ensuring no other ships could leave the city. Halting the spread of the outbreak, but leaving large sections in ruins and condemning countless lives. And the intervening 20 years have only made Londinian more hostile, not less. So my people will not be coming for you out there. Understood? We are unwanted guests on this planet, and, as a rule, I don't put my people in any more risk than is absolutely necessary. We've got it hard enough out here. So, no, there will be no cavalry sweeping into the rescue. Terramorphs, and plenty of them, outside our little sanctuary here, much of the planet is theirs. For that reason, we keep our trips into the city to a minimum. That also means our intel becomes largely historical once you go much beyond the defences. It's also why I want to make sure I'm being crystal clear. Out there, you're on your own. Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceles plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. Ten points a bit strong. The equipment will be able to get us a rough location of any acceptable samples in the scan area. It'll be up to you, Kaiser, and I to find the things. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. Beleza, né? Então, bora lá. Seguinte, agora a gente vai ter o opcional, certo? E praticamente é dar uma passadinha no arsenal aqui dessa base. E, mano, vamos dar uma geralzinha na área, tá? Pegar os itens ali, ver o que tem de interessante na localização e levar também, certo? Porque agora a gente pode se armar ali com mais algumas coisas, tá? A gente pode levar granada e uma cacetada de coisa aí também. Aqui a gente tem um set lendário da UC, tá? Isso daqui é bem interessante. É um set que a gente recebe pra fazer essa missão aqui, tá? E eu vou levar, porque creio eu que ele seja único. Porque pode ver que ele tem ali, ó, fixo. Redução de dano contra alien, tá? Então eu tô levando ele. Vou levar munição. Vou ver o que dá pra... Levar a mais aqui embora também, certo? Ah, não, deixa isso daí aí. Parece que não tem nada ali dentro. Beleza. Tô dando uma olhadinha em tudo. Só pra gente ter a última garantia ali, porque, mano. Depois ali daqui, fi. Tem retorno mais não, mano. E aí, dependendo da dificuldade que você estiver jogando também, já sabe, né? É bom vir preparado. Porque se não vir um pouquinho preparado ali, pode dar B.O. Deixa eu ver o que mais tem pra cá. Hum, tá bom, tranquilo. Acho que aqui embaixo já acabou. Beleza. É isso aí, né? Vamos lá pra localização, então, e continuar com a história. Transfers complete. Those codes will allow you to temporarily restore power to most facilities in the city. 
systems should shut themselves back down automatically. Duly noticed, Commander. All set on your gear? You... Are you ready to do this? Yeah, just pre-mission jitters. You hear about a place for so long, it maybe gets bigger in your head than it should be. But you don't need to worry about me. I I'll be all right. Now, are we doing this or not? Then let's get this show on the road. Kaiser? Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. Personal comms should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Roger, loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Kaiser, kick it off. Unlock code transmitted. You may open the gate when ready. All right. On our way into the city. Percival, where are we heading? <laughs> Running the first sweep. Got one. A Sealy's. Not far. Old shipping yard just past the processing plant. Gene samples are probably in one of the containers. Beleza então, né? Chegou o momento de começar a treta, né? Você vê quando a situação pode dar merda na hora que é quatro personagens na equipe, irmão. <risos> Aí o bagulho ficou doido, mano. Por isso que é bom vir preparado, tá? E aqui é aquele padrão, a gente vai encontrar os inimigos normais aqui também, ó, do próprio planeta. O detalhe é que os terror morfo daqui, eles controlam não só esses inimigos, né, mas também os seres humanos, né. A gente já presenciou isso, então é algo meio complicadinho, né. Uai. Ah, o bicho tava aqui. Beleza. Bom, tem mais ainda. Oi, que louco. Esse planeta a gente ainda vai passar pra dar uma geralzinha nele ainda pra ver tudo, né? Fazer a inspeção e por aí vai. Aqui é só a parte da história, então como padrão eu sempre evito ali né, de ficar explorando muito quando eu tô fazendo assim a história pra ser um pouquinho mais objetivo e a gente não perder tanto tempo ali na hora da missão, né? Que a missão em si ela já é bem grande, já tem bastante conversa, diálogo. E aí, se você for explorar o planeta também, você tá na merda, irmão. Aí o vídeo não acaba mais, não. Então, muito possivelmente, depois que eu terminar realmente lá essas missões aí, né, de Nova Atlântida, eu venho aqui pra esse sistema. E já dou uma geralzinha nos planetas daqui, né? Pra deixar já tudo direitinho no esquema. Aí a gente faz um pente fino. Vê se eu esqueci alguma coisa em algum lugar também. Porque é sempre bom fazer aquela verificada normal, né? Vai que tem item único. Your shipping yard is just beyond the processing plant. Cash with some goodies is towards the rear of the facility. Kaiser, we close enough for you to dial in the location of those samples from here? Yes, they're faint. But I'm detecting multiple valid signatures. I have restored power to the containers. Jackpot! Get down there and collect as many as you can. Beleza, a gente já fez até o opcional ali, né, mano? Que era fazer aquela limpa também nessa área aqui, padrão, certo? E agora a gente entra nessa sala aqui e, mano, mais munição, mais coisa ali pra gente utilizar no meio do combate. Mano, padrão, tá ligado? A gente já tá aqui mesmo, sai pegando tudo porque vai ajudar. E é isso aí, mano, não tem essa não. Guarda tudo, porque em algum momento a gente vai usar. Claro que agora eu estou usando mais essas armas aqui. Porém, na hora que eu encontrar umas lendárias ali dessa categoria, com certeza eu vou utilizar elas também, tá? 
É que essas aqui no momento é o que tá causando mais dano na minha mão, né? Então é o que dá pra usar ali por enquanto. Beleza. Então, bora lá. Partindo aqui dessa área, seguindo em frente, né? As amostras já estão tudo uma pertinho ali da outra. Ih, rapaz. Essa área aqui não é muito legal, não. Pressentimento meio complicadinho. Ah, dá, rapaz. Já tô vendo daqui já, ó. Olha lá. Vamos. Vamos. Aí o bicho é resistente, viu, filho? Na última barra de vida, então. Caralho, cadê ele? Bota que pariu. Ai, 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 ai Nossa senhora Quase morri Meu Deus do céu, velho Que lapada que eu tomei ali Daquele bicho ali, ó Nossa, tem um maior que esse daqui ali Ah, mochila jato que eu tô é uma bosta Desse set aqui, depois eu preciso Botar os mods nela e trocar Eu já percebi isso já ela é bem ruinzinha, mano. Mas muito ruinzinha. <risos> e vamos lá, mano. Vamos dando tiro com o bicho embaçado. Put down your weapons. We just want to be friends. Caralho, o bicho mexe com com a mente, né, velho? O bicho é embaçado, filho. Mas olha o tamanho dessa merda aqui, mano. Ó, esse aqui, beleza. Isso aí a gente encontra com tranquilidade. Agora, esse aqui é um pouquinho mais complicado de ver, viu? Eu não sei nem se ele só aparece, tipo, em algumas áreas específicas. Rapaz, é resistente, viu? Me deu duas pancadas ali que eu quase fui pra cá do caramba. E foi vida, hein? Rapaz... E olha que ainda por cima eu tô com um set que reduz a... o dano da alienígena, hein? Imagina se não tivesse. Já tinha ido embora, já. Beleza, a gente vai pegar a amostra aqui. De resto ali, não tô com interesse de levar. Aproveitando que a gente tá aqui também, né? Vamos dar uma geral, certo? Porque vai ter alguns containers ali que não tem nada a ver com a missão. E querendo ou não, pode ter algo de importante aí pra gente levar Ou não também Tem esse pequeno detalhe, ó Componentes ali de contrabando Claramente eu vou pegar Porque depois eu só dou um pulinho lá no... No sistema roof Na alcova E né, a gente dá fim nisso daí E ainda por cima Recebe um pouquinho mais de dinheiro aí Tranquilamente, né? De graça, vamos dizer assim sem muito esforço. Ficar ligeiro porque eu não faço ideia se vai ter mais algum desses terror morfo por aqui. Vai que, né? Tu abre um desse daqui o bicho já pula na toreia, né, velho? É meio complicadinho, né? A situação. Enquanto vamos dando uma volta aqui Na tranquilidade Dá pra abrir aqui? Eita E aí? Nada E aqui pra cima? No cantinho Tinha alguma coisa? Não Aí, essa mochila aqui Ela é bem ruim Meu amigo Eu preciso urgente o, o robô do cacete Que susto que eu tomei aqui agora, mano Do nada ele entrou ali 
dentro do personagem. Tá bom. Depois eu preciso botar um mod ali de uma... Na mochila melhor ali pra pegar mais altitude, tá ligado? Ser mais forte, porque olha... Isso aí eu já posso avisar, já é uma bosta. O padrão. Mais amostra ali, munição também, a gente sempre vai levando. Ó, o Big Bang é interessante, mas... É bom eu encontrar uma outra aí, né, pelo menos... Épica ou, ou lendária já... Já vai ajudar, né? Com os status bons aí. Mas isso daí demora, filhão. Até vir. Tem que jogar muito. Opa. Mais um item aí de contrabando. Muito bom. Mais uma grana extra. Bom, acho que a gente abriu bastante container daqui. Vamos subir. A última amostra tá ali do lado. Pra cá, aparentemente, não tem nada. Tem um corpo ali. Tá. Vamos entrar aqui nessa sala. E aí? Mais um contrabando. Bom. Deixa eu ver. Será que essa carta aqui é carta única? É porque não tem peso ali nem nada. É, é uma carta única mesmo, ó. É, filhão. Já deu pra ver que o bagulho ficou louco, né? Tomar cuidado pra não cair aqui também, né? Pode acontecer. Beleza. All the CD's samples collected. All right. Now hand those over to Kaiser and let's get out of here. Só a gente entregar a amostra pro Kaiser. E continuar a história. Só confirmar aqui pra ver se não tem mais nada pra cá, né? Porque já viu. Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample. But, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city. Which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That, that's right. Kaiser, how did you know that? I... Am not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. Then we've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. Beleza, né? Então a gente já tem uma localização marcada ali, porque agora a gente vai entrar para a área dos túneis aqui de Londinion, né? Que já são ali as partes subterrâneas que vamos explorar agora, né? E bora lá. Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. Real marvel. E vamos lá, né? Seguindo em frente, uma área aí meio macabra, vamos dizer assim, né? Não sei se a gente vai ter inimigo no meio do caminho aqui, mas bora. Com cautela, tranquilidade, sem avançar muito correndo ali para não dar merda. As cobrinhas. Vamos dar um. Dá uns tiros aí. Eita porra! Caraca, mano! Olha o tanto! Rapaz! Olha o tanto de. De cobrinha dessa daí que. Que saiu daqui, mano! Cacete! All these leeches! What's keeping you things warm? Ih, rapaz, é aquilo, né, mano? Só pelo comentário da mina ali, tu já fala aí, velho, deu merda, mano. Só falta essas merdinha pequenininha aí ter ligação com, com os terromorfos, né? Que querendo ou não é tudo alien, né, mano? Então, velho, não dá pra saber, né? Pode ter como pode não ter também, né? É 
só saiu correndo de boa. Vamos seguindo em frente, né? Não tinha nada de bom ali. Eita caramba. Rapaz, aquilo ali não tá com uma cara muito boa. Tem esse pequeno detalhe. What's that? My god. Look at it. A Lazarus in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only. Leeches are terramorphs. But no, it can't be true. Heat leeches are everywhere. They live everywhere. That means terramorphs. Oh my god. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then, with time, they transform. We... We just found out how terramorphs move between planets. That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, The microbe should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Aceles will have to look into, but given what we know about the creatures, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. No, Lazarus plants can't grow anywhere but here, let alone blossom. People have tried. Plus, if what we just witnessed was happening anywhere else, well, it wouldn't just be Londinian lost to these things. What we just saw, it, it must be some kind of alternate growth method. One that winnows 70 years of maturation into seconds. It's incredible. I am sincerely inclined to agree, but... Current evidence suggests nature manages it just fine. The Lazarus plant. It's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches, into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing. Get after it! Rapaz, aquelas merdinhas <risos> são os Terror Morph. Mano, resumo da história. Deu merda, porque a gente já tá vendo isso desde o início da gameplay. Em todo canto, em... Mano, dentro de nave, em várias localizações, planetas. É, rapaz. Deu pra entender porque o bagulho é uma infestação, tá ligado? Quer dizer assim, a gente viu que, mano, pelo menos demora de 70 até uns 100 anos aí 
pra ele alcançar essa fase adulta, tá ligado? Beleza, isso daí deu pra entender. Agora, com essa planta aqui, amigão, o bichinho basicamente foi instantâneo. Olha o tamanho da merda que isso poderia dar ali no universo inteiro. Se alguém diz, é, controla isso daí pra atacar. Fudeu. Vamos pegar a amostra do corpo aqui agora. Percival, Kaiser's got the cell data from the New Atlantis and Tau Ceti attacks, right? Uploading them myself. Captain, let Kaiser take a look at that sample. Beginning analysis. It is a match. This suggests with high certainty that the Lazarus plant was used to trigger the attacks on both planets. Uh, there's no way a plant this rare, this fragile, just shows up here, New Atlantis, and Tau Ceti. The transformations on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. A bioweapon no one would recognize as one. Oh, that's a terrifying prospect. Sort of thing that'll keep you up at night. And the sort of thing whoever did this probably didn't expect us to uncover. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Ceti was likely their first test. Some place remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. I can't. At least, I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone found a way. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. Beleza, né? Bom, vamos seguir o Kaiser ali até ele chegar na porta, né? to provide sufficient power to the lock mechanism. Anyone got ideas where we can get some extra juice? Local power looks like it was controlled in the security office. Upper floor. Captain and I can scout it out. Kaiser, see if you can't find another way to get it open. Roger that. I have restored power to the office entrance. You may proceed. Beleza, né? Então a gente vai entrar ali. Nessa sala aqui agora, certo? Vamos dar uma revirada na área, pegar o que tem ali de interessante, se tiver alguma coisa também, claro, né? Vamos com calma verificar tudo aqui, bem de boa. Oh, there's the control panel. Still looks operable. Of all the things to survive. Beleza, tem uns armários aqui, né? Vou aproveitar e abrir eles aí também. Só pra ver se tem algo de bom, porque querendo ou não é aquilo, né, mano? Eu não sei se eu vou voltar aqui e sair olhando tudo com mais calma depois, né? Possivelmente eu até posso fazer isso daí, né? Mas, 
Vamos tentando, pelo menos ali na gravação da missão, sempre fazer o pente fino ali máximo que a gente conseguir, né? Nem sempre a gente consegue fazer tudo 100%. Porra, tinha a chave dos armários ali, ó. Aí tá bom, né? Acontece. Tem um cofre aqui, tranquilo. Beleza. E bora lá, né? Continuar com a história. É, rapaz, acabamos de descobrir então quem foi que causou, né, basicamente a merda. E, rapaz. Hey, Victus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plant and the terramorphs and all this a secret. Didn't he? He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people. Condemned this city to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. He was a... Was... Yes. Exactly what we all thought he was. But I guess... I guess that's just another part of his sick legacy now. He thought he was protecting us all, taking the secret to his grave. Only he didn't succeed. Now someone else knows about the Lazarus plant and is using it exactly how he feared. That's exactly right. Let's move. The settled systems are counting on us. Unlock successful. Guys, your sample. It moved. I'd be real careful out there if I were you. That doesn't sound good. Eyes peeled. Beleza, pessoal. E nessa parte aqui, eu acabei passando um tempo ali também. Pra dar uma clareada aqui nesse planeta. Porque vou te falar. O planetinha que fica escuro, viu, mano? Meu Deus do céu, velho. E aí, na hora da gravação, esse combate aqui ia ficar uma merda, tá? Não tem muito o que fazer, certo? Eu também posso dizer que neste combate eu acabei utilizando ali uma arma mais fraca. Porque eu acabei usando na primeira vez ali o rifle. E eu derreti o bicho. Sem querer. 
E eu acabei percebendo que tinha mecânica também pra gente eliminar o, o inimigo na moral. Aí eu falei, mano, pra ficar uma coisa mais interessante, tá? Eu deixei o combate ali bem de boa, demorando mais pra mostrar a mecânica também, tá? Porque tem esquema aqui de matar o bicho de boa. Não é um bicho fraco, mas eu acabei derretendo ele sem querer. É um inimigo forte que vai chamar diversos outros inimigos. Dependendo de como você chegou aqui, pode dar problema ou não, tá? Tem esse detalhe. Aí depois de um tempo aparece ali ó, a mecânica para eliminar o inimigo. Beleza, né? Aí a gente, né, mexendo ali em todos os interruptores, eliminamos o inimigo diretão, tá? Então já deu pra ver que tem mecânica ali, tá ligado? Mano, você tomando bastante cuidado, a gente tem muita liberdade pra não apanhar também. Mas é aquilo, depende muito de como tu vai chegar aqui também, porque, mano, se chegar aqui muito fraco, dependendo da dificuldade, isso pode dar algum tipo de BO. Você tem diversas estratégias, tacar um monte de bomba lá de mina, quer dizer, na hora que o bicho aparecer, atrair ele pra, pras minas e implodir ele de vez. Vim com uma arma muito forte ali, com dano a alien, derreter ele, então, mano... Aí fica a teu critério como você vai eliminar, mas que o bicho é grande, é grande, mano. Caramba, esse aqui era grande, viu, fi? E bora continuar a história. Good. Now just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk privately. On it. See you soon. Look at all of you. Back from the underworld. Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there. But it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Can't be positive until we run some tests. But knowing that the Terramors have been masquerading as heat leeches all this time is a big find. Arguably makes things more feasible. Now that we know what we're dealing with, not less. Agreed. Plus, I don't think you're gonna have to push real hard to get folks on board with cleaning up one of the galaxy's greatest pests if this is what they're capable of. But none of that's getting done without the samples. You do have them, right? Hey, <laughs> was worried about that myself. Though I know I wasn't nearly as much at risk of limb loss as you all were. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Ve Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. Putting it lightly. 
But it's clear someone knows about the plant and realized what ends it could be put towards. Captain, we need to get these samples back to the lab and verify we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But in the interim, do you think you could look into what we uncovered? See if you can turn up any information on who might have committed the attacks? If it were me, I started the scene of the crime. New Atlantis. Thank you, Captain. Once you finish your investigation, we'll meet you outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to hear this. Take care of yourself. No telling who might be involved. Beleza, pessoal. Com isso a gente acaba encerrando a missão, tá? Então eu vou terminando o vídeo por aqui, no próximo a gente vai ali para os finalmente aqui da história da UC, beleza? Se gostou deixa o like e se inscreva no canal, valeu, falou!